All right, so now we have two videos. We have a web and we have a DVD, okay? My next thing is I want to show you how to make a sample DVD. You're going to do this using a program called Adobe Encore, okay? So I'm going to open a new finder window here and page out to uh, applications and launch Encore. Now, Encore can be a little confusing at times. There's no doubt about it. Um, I'm just going to show you the very basics on how to get a DVD. You know, feel free to play with it all you want afterwards. Usually, these videos are about motivation for a student. You know, once they see that it's not so scary, they go in there and start building things on their own. So here I need a new project. I'm going to make this project the same video folder. And call it DVD. I'm going to use DVD settings and hit OK. All right, so what this is what I have. This very scary thing. I have projects, menus, timelines, and build. Okay. Projects. I'm going to need this file over here, the DVD MOV. The whole project is called DVD. Okay. I could put a description here if I wanted to, but I need something. I need a new timeline. Timelines house videos. So I'm going to take this video and place it here on the timeline. Now what you can find out if you go File Preview, it plays the video. If you want just a straight off DVD without a menu, that's the way to do it. Let's look at a menu. Let's go Menu, New Menu. On this menu, what I want to do is add um, a small text called play, just for a demonstration. You can get as fancy as you want here. I mean, really, this program does a lot more than I'm showing, but that's okay. As I said, it's meant for a motivational tool. Here's Go to the direct select tool, and now you can move play around if you wanted to. I'll just put it smack dab in the middle here. And I'm going to right click on it and say convert to button. Now you can convert anything to a button. If you bring a picture in from Adobe Photoshop, you can convert that to a button too. So just giving you some hints. Well, that button is going to be linked to something. It's going to be linked to my timeline. Okay, so now anytime I hit play, it should play. The problem here is when Adobe Premiere or Encore first sees or opens a program, it's going to latch onto the first timeline. Okay, if you click in this area right here, this is your project, the DVD. Look, at it says first play. Well, I don't want it to play the video, I want it to play the menu. What happens when it gets done? Let's say I'm in the menu, I hit play. Okay, it's going to play the timeline. What happens after the timeline? Well, I need to send the end action. The end action is going to be back at the menu. Now think about that for a minute. You can have multiple videos. Let's say I have play video one, play video two, play video three. Again, it cycles through. All I do is have to keep going back to the menu. Let's preview this. Go file preview. Big play comes up. I hit it. Video pops in. If I want to check out if it goes back to the menu, I just hit next chapter. And there you go. We just exit. The next thing I'm going to do is build this. So I'm going to build it to an image. I like building it to an image and not a DVD or a folder. And I'll show you why, especially on a Mac. 
On a Mac, it's very simple. And another thing is, when you're building it right onto a disk, it has a tendency to not do that very well. So I like building the image. That way I can burn it at whatever speed I want. Okay, so I have to set a destination location. And I'm going to set it to be here. I'll call it DVD. And hit save. Source is current project. And I'm just going to build this. In the next video, I'll show you how to get it to a DVD on a Mac computer.